Hey everyone, Adrian here and welcome to episode 7 in my series where I review some of my uh, top or the top income oriented fund managers uh, out there and this is episode 7 and in this episode we're going to cover Horizons ETFs. So Horizons is a pretty big ETF provider in Canada. They have a lot of ETFs including some you know, passive index ETFs as well as uh, managed ETFs, but they recently refreshed their entire lineup of covered call ETFs and they are extremely interesting. So they have seven covered call ETFs in total. That's where I will focus this video on. So let's check out their entire lineup of covered call ETFs, which was just, just refreshed uh, because there's some very, very interesting options there. Let's check it out. All right, everyone, let's do this. So Horizons ETFs, um, this is actually a company uh, under Marais Asset Management, in case you didn't know, and Global X, which of course has QYLD, RYLD, XYLD, or manages them, is a sister company of Horizons ETFs. They are both owned by Marais Asset Management, which is actually a South Korean company. Uh, pretty, pretty cool. So I am, of course, on Horizons ETFs website. That's where you should go. Uh, to do any research on these funds and we're going to really focus on the covered call etf so if you go to products you go to active you see that here they have all this is where they have their covered call etfs there's seven total but they do have a bunch of other etfs which i won't really go into details in this video because obviously i am an income oriented investor and covered call etfs is really my focus but i strongly suggest you go through them they do have a lot of you know fixed income not really interested in that but if you go to benchmark they do have a lot of passive index ETFs like an S&P 500 and a NASDAQ, a TSX 60, one for emerging markets, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So I strongly suggest you take a look at them, especially if you're more of a growth oriented investor or total return or um, investor. They also have a lot of thematic ETFs, just like Global X does. It doesn't surprise me because, you know, they're basically cousin companies or sister companies, whatever you want to call it. They also have some pretty crazy leveraged um etfs under their beta pro here so you know these, these i think in my opinion are really if you want to swing trade so i'm not going to be taking a look at these um, but it's really the covered call etfs here that we'll take a look at so let's go through them one by one everyone as as usual so we're going to start with uh, cncc and they, they pretty much renamed all their covered call etfs recently uh in i think june or june or july so um, we'll go through them. And uh, I also, you know, I might as well tell you now, I talked to the covered call manager, the guy who writes the covered calls at Horizons ETFs. So stay tuned for that video for a QA and a on, on, on these ETFs. Uh, very, very interesting conversation, but let's go through them one by one. So the Horizons Canadian large cap equity covered call ETF. So just like the name says, you could expect basically Canadian stocks in here. So this would be very, very similar or kind of, you know, similar to ZWC from BMO. So you'll have the best Canadian companies in here. If we go to product facts, uh, you click here, very, very nice high yield right now of 9.27% really high yield. So definitely higher than ZWC, a little bit higher MER, which I ask um, the portfolio manager about why the MERs are slightly higher. So stay tuned for that video. But uh, I'm very, very impressed with number one, the yield, even the, the you know, 12 month average is over 9%. This is really, really good. This is higher than ZWC. It's even higher than Harvest's um, Canadian covered call ETF, HLIF. Right, you would only get this yield with the leveraged version. So really, really nice. And, and this is a common theme that we'll see uh, in all of Horizon's uh, covered call ETFs. The yield seems to be a lot higher since the refresh. And it seems like the yield goes up significantly when volatility goes up. So uh, this is a ba basically a theme of these ETFs here, the, the Horizon's covered call ETFs, where you will see the distributions go up if volatility goes up, just like we're having now. So if we look at the uh, distributions, you'll see that here, right? So uh, yeah, I mean, they're five cents, four cents, four, very, very consistent here, pretty consistent throughout the whole year. So I'm actually very surprised of how high the yield is, pretty high yield. If we go to holdings, um, I mean, you'll basically see that all it holds is the TSX 60, and it seems like they're writing covered calls on XIU. So XIU is the um, BlackRock iShares TSX 60 
index ETF. So this is very interesting. So this ETF basically, unlike ZWC where they stock pick, you're, you're basically holding the TSX 60, which in my opinion is one of the best or the best uh, passive index ETF that captures the entire Canadian market, the top 60 companies actually, not the entire market. So uh, very, very interesting strategy. And now they're, they generate the premiums by actually writing covered calls on XIU the ETF that also tracks, it, tracks the TSX 60. So this is the first one. This is gonna be your overall Canadian option here. And we'll go with the next one, which is also a Canadian one, no surprise, BKCC. Obviously they're gonna have a Canadian banks one. So this would be, you know, a comparable to ZWB from BMO. Um, the yield is about the same, maybe a little bit higher than ZWB. Again, it doesn't really surprise me. The yield is gonna be a little bit higher. The fee's a little bit higher as well. Um, but here's your 12 month trailing yield of almost 8%. So obviously this guy's just gonna have the six banks, right? It's really not complicated. Uh, not, not a very unique covered call ETF, I would say. This one is though ENCC. This is the Horizons Canadian Oil and Gas equity covered call ETF. So like the name says, this is gonna have Canadian companies in the oil and gas industry. So this is one of the, you know, you could compare it, I guess the NXF, except it's Canadian focus. So this is one of their unique ones for sure. And check out this yield guys, right now it's at 15%, which makes sense because volatility is huge on oil. Um, and what is the, let's see, yeah, the trailing yield. So the average in the last 12 months is always gonna be a, a lot lower than 15 because it's spiking in the last couple of months here, 10.51. So really, really nice high yields here with these ETFs. I'm very, very impressed with that. I'm just curious to see the distributions of how much have they increased. You actually see that nine cents, nine cents, 10 cents, 11, 11, and then an absolute monster 15 cent ones in the last couple of months. So very impressed. This just shows that, you know, when there's higher volatility or when oil and gas goes up, you could expect um, higher distributions. And these are, you know, on, it's not like QYLD, RYLD, XYLD. And I'll talk about it with the covered call manager. This um, Horizons uses, and you know, maybe I should have started with this, a dynamic covered call approach. So they never write more than on 50% of the portfolio and it's typically out of the money. So uh, more of a conservative, you know, covered call strategy, but it's dynamic, unlike BMOs, which is set in stone. It's more of a dynamic one. So, you know, I prefer the dynamic one, which basically means they could write more calls when there's more volatility, they'll write less calls whenever they feel there's more upside, uh, upside, uh, you know, participation or there is upside. If we look at the holdings for this one, you'll, you'll get the big Canadian, really the Canadian ones, you know, Suncor, Canadian Natural, definitely the big two, uh, Enbridge, Pembina. So it is not just oil and gas, it's also pipelines, which is good to see. Right, you have the three big pipelines here: Enbridge, Pembina, TC Energy, Key Era, Tourmaline is oil and gas producer. Arc, so really nice way if you want to get in, capture the uh, you know energy in Canada. This is a really good covered call ETF to have, and you could expect higher distributions, obviously, like we've seen when there's you know oil and gas as well, and there's higher volatility. So those three are really the Canadian focus ones. Now moving on to the U.S. focus one. So you have USCC, which is basically the equivalent to CNCC. So this is your overall U.S. Uh, covered call ETF. So this has U.S. companies. Again, really really nice yield right now. Um, about always, you know, the MERS are all about 0.85 on all of them. The 12 month trailing yield, so the average of the last 12 months is obviously lower. So, this one also, since volatility has spiked, the distributions have spiked. So, yeah, very impressive here with the, uh, the yields and the distributions. And if we go to holdings, let's see what this one has in holdings. Of course, you'll see a typical, uh, you know, US breakdown, which is mostly going to be technology and healthcare. A little bit of everything though here for sure and this one just like the canadian one that holds basically the tsx 60 uh this one here is going to hold their own horizons us large cap etf hulc which is probably going to have you know if, if the name says us large cap index etf you're going to have the biggest uh you know us companies and just like the other one they're writing uh as they're writing covered calls on the actual index itself on SPX, which I believe is the S&P 500. So they're writing um, covered calls on the actual index itself here, not on the individual stocks, for example, like BMO does. So very, very interesting. This would be your overall US 
uh, covered call ETF. But now we get into the interesting one, which I find is pretty much the most interesting one in the whole lineup, QQCC. So this one, QQCC is the NASDAQ 100 covered call ETF. This is basically what QILD does, except it's a bit different because it's not at the money um, calls. These are out of the money calls. And I discussed this one at length with the, uh, the covered call manager at Horizon. So make sure you, you, know, you uh, mark the date. That video should come out right after this video. So QQCC, basically what they did, and this is where you might get a, a little confused. They renamed their HEJ. So they used to have a covered call uh, ETF for international stocks called HEJ. So instead of creating a new ETF called QQ, QQCC, they transitioned that existing HEJ ETF into QQCC. So basically what that means is, and this happened in June, you got to ignore the uh, annualized performance because this annualized performance is based on the mostly on the HEJ ETF. So yeah, a little bit, you know, complicated. Um, and same thing with the distributions. So the distributions basically really started in, I would say, July for QQCC. The other ones here, all the ones here and all the old years are for HEJ, which has nothing to do with QQCC now. So um, basically the first uh, distribution you should be looking at is the July one. And you could actually see the jump, right? Three cents to four and a half cents. That's a huge jump. Five cents, five cents, five cents. So really, really big uh, distributions right now, which is um, has a monstrous yield here of 14.64%. This is, of course, going to be based on the last distribution, and this is based on the last 12. But like I said, this is not going to be accurate because it's there's some HEJ distributions in there. So you could expect a really nice yield, especially when there's volatility of at least 10% plus here. So the fact that this is a very interesting because it's basically a if you like QILD, and, but you don't want to have it in your TFSA or your cash account because of that 15% withholding tax, well, QQCC is now an option. So this is really an alternative to QILD or JEPQ uh, in a Canadian cash or TFSA account where you don't have to worry about that 15% withholding tax. So definitely, I would say out of the seven, uh, the most interesting and attractive one for me anyway, in my opinion. Very, very interesting here. Next one is the gold producer producers one, GLCC. So this ETF is actually inside HYLD and HDIV from Hamilton ETF. So like the name says, gold producers, you're looking at the top gold producers. So Barrick, Wheaton, Newmont, Franco Nevada, Yamana Gold, Gold Lake, all, all those big, big companies that you, you know, they're always the same. Franco Nevada, Newmont, Royal Gold, King Cross, Yamana, always the same companies, basically the biggest gold producers out there. And this one also been having really really nice yields um, you know right now it's the average is 11.71 if we look at the 12 month it's 11.20 so yeah this is really 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 nice and i think this is actually the one their biggest one the one with the most assets um so yeah this would be comparable to cgxf guys from ci um, the difference between them would be monthly distributions which is always better than quarterly ones and their last one, and this is the only one where they haven't changed the name, is HGY. So along with QQCC, I would say this is the second one that's very, very unique because it's the only covered call ETF out there that I've seen in Canada that writes covered calls on physical gold. So this is unlike the gold producers, which is actually the gold producer companies. This is just physical gold. This is real, just gold bullion. They write covered calls on it and you'll get the, uh, a nice distribution yield of always, you know, it's always between six and seven, I would say. You can't expect a lot. It's physical gold. It's very boring. Um, but, you know, if you click on holdings, you see that it basically just has a gold bullion ETF from S from Spider. I think this is the biggest one, right? GLD M. And then they just write cover calls on the same ETF. So very, very interesting because if you like gold, if you're an old school investor and wants to keep five or 10 percent gold instead of, you know, either buying <laughs> gold bars or getting a gold ETF that doesn't have income, you can get HGY and you'll get 6%, 6 to 7%. So very, very interesting and unique ETF here. So there you have it, guys. That's the overview of their ETFs. Uh, you know, most of them have all been refreshed and renamed. HGY is the only exception. The two most interesting ones for me by far, are definitely QQCC and HGY. But I suggest, you know, you guys take a look at them, look at the, uh, you know, the annual total returns 
and dividend yield and make a decision. We could only hope, I really hope that they come out with their own, own all in one. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, that like button, and make sure you're subscribed not to miss out on my future content. Of course, hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified for any new content that comes out. Also, make sure to visit our website, passiveincomeinvesting.ca. That's where you could purchase my digital product, the ultimate DIY investing package, which is on version four right now. It comes with lifetime updates, so you only have to buy it once, which is awesome. So this is a companion tool it's a reference tool that will help you build your own portfolio according to your needs and goals and it covers both the canadian and american u.s stock markets so make sure to check it out i have a video explaining from a to z exactly what the product is i showcase it so there's no surprises if you're interested make sure to check out that video also right there on my website on the home page i do offer a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me so this is a one hour zoom call with yours truly for a, you know in case you need personalized help i'll answer all your questions and i'll help you best i can just remember i'm not a licensed financial planner or financial advisor this, these are just going to be a uh, friendly uh, conversation right it's just going to be my opinions but if ever you're looking for that personalized touch that personalized help you could book a one-on-one -on -one with me make sure to check out the message on top of that calendar uh, that will give you a status of my bookings uh, for that month also, we do have a Facebook group, great Facebook group, over 12,000 members. So make sure to join our community. The group is called Passive Income Investing, a nice Facebook group where everyone is sharing their thoughts and opinions and sharing their experiences. So it's a really nice group. We make sure to stay on top of the scam and the spams and we delete those right away. So make sure to join our Facebook group. If ever you want something more personalized with us, you could uh, follow us on Instagram. That's where we post more personal things on our adventures here in Panama. So follow us on Instagram if you want and how do i always leave you continue to stay safe continue to stay healthy and of course stay passive see you next time